A large majority of EdgeNet product content cloud users enter data using smart spreadsheets. Why? Because it's the most efficient way to enter information for lots of products. Here's an example of how to generate and download a smart spreadsheet to add new products. On the home page, click the add product data button. Under the next steps section on the upper left of the window, you'll see a drop down menu there. You can get that same drop down menu from the products page using the navigation bar at the top clicking products. Now that I'm on the products page, I locate the add product data button, which is just under the filter bar on the right hand side. Clicking on that produces the same drop down menu that I mentioned before. I want option three, download a smart Excel spreadsheet template. EdgeNet Product Content Cloud has thousands of product types or categories. This launches the category selection window. I need to select the categories that I want to be included on this smart spreadsheet. Since I was recently working on catcher's masks, I know Know that I can click on the recently used categories tab, which will show me a list of terms separated by greater than signs. Now each of these groups of terms is called a class path, which is like a trail of breadcrumbs that leads to where your product will be classified. This is a list of class paths that someone at my company or I have worked on before. And as it turns out, I have been recently working within baseball equipment and even catcher's masks. I'll take a good look at each class path, even scroll to the right to make sure that I'm looking at the correct class path path. I click on the catcher's masks class path to add it to my selected categories and oh I've accidentally added an automotive class which I do not want. I simply click on the garbage can in front of the class that I wish to remove. So masks have now been added to the smart spreadsheet and now I still need to add baseballs. I don't see it in my list of recently used categories so I'll move to the search tab and begin typing in the search box. As I type the search will begin providing suggestions to me. I've typed in base B and I'm scrolling through the options. I see baseball and baseballs. Since I want to get as broad a search as possible, I'm selecting baseball singular. Scrolling through the returns, I see baseballs. I also see that the next category is pitching machine balls. While I don't know if we offer pitching machine balls, I'm going to add the category just in case. As we get more familiar with EdgeNet's categories, you'll have a better sense of which to add to your smart spreadsheet. Another way of locating product categories is using the browse tab. So I'm clicking on the browse tab. The browse section will walk you through the tree of EdgeNet's category structure. Now clicking on a category takes you to subcategories provided within. I've clicked on sports, outdoor recreation equipment. I see baseball, softballs right away. I select it, opening up the next layer of classes. Now I see balls and oops, I've accidentally selected bats. No problem. My current class path is displayed directly above and I can go back as far